Yes, yes. Today we're in here to print that design. It's actually a rush order from my friend Armando, who is the guy that brought me that shirt. And he was on the last video that I shot for Forgotten World. So right now we're burning the screens for that. The left chest, which is that yin yang, it's very small. So it might give us a little bit of trouble. Good. All right. So because that left chest is very, very small, it might give us a little bit of trouble, but it's okay. Uh, I burned two of the colors on high mesh because of the detail and the other one's on a 160 because I wanted that red to really pop. And that's what's going on. So he gets out of work at six, it's four o'clock, only 15 shirts, so we should be able to get it done. I'm burning the last screen and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the swamp cooler just so I can get the screens to dry a little bit faster. And I, ha I like to have it off because it has a really bad hissing noise when I'm recording and I don't want that for you guys. So we already burned the first one, which is the Forgotten World, just a text that goes inside of the yin yang. Now, I did tell Armando about that white on white. He wants that text to just show or pop even though it's a white t-shirt, so we just took it out of the black and the shirt's gonna show through, but he wants to print the white on top of that. It's a little confusing, I know, but once I put it on the machine, I'm gonna print it and you guys may ask, why did he do that? ¿Qué pasó? Hello, ¿qué tanto tiempo más va a estar ahí? Como unas dos horas. Ah, ok, pues ahí voy a quedar como haciendo lejos, un poco retirado. Ok, está bien. Ahora le paso, bye. Y I have no clue. So, we're just gonna get it done. I told him he was gonna get charged a little bit extra, but he was okay with it, so I'm okay with it. And that's really what's going on. So, we're printing the white on white, the red, the black, and then the back is just red and black. So, I was able to put the red and black on the same screen for the front and the back, and that was it, super simple. So let's go ahead and get that done for him. I had a, a great meeting today with uh, John Moraga from Maryville. He's an MMA fighter. I was introduced to him through Brian uh, last year or two years ago when I printed the first shirts for him. And he wants to print gym shirts because he started up a gym and he wants to get that going and also for uh, his next fight. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. I know that um, my friend Tom was in here today and he kind of just saw him but wasn't too sure and I didn't want to feel like being weird and introducing him because we we're just talking business. But um, yeah, so since my friend Tom prints for the FAA and somebody asked me what that was, there you go. Um, I thought it was kind of cool that he just came in and Tom was here, so that happened. And that's it. I've been busy advertising for the shop and I've been getting ready for next Friday since it's my last day at Soul Prince. So we're gonna be in here going hard. We're advertising like never before. And uh, next week on Monday, I'm gonna show you guys some of the things that I've been doing to get more business through the door and i hope that you guys take a lot of this advice because i feel like it's great i feel like it's already working and i just barely got started so that thing is done let me go ahead and wash it out and then we'll start setting up okay so we washed out the last screen and as i was saying this is going to be the shirt showing through because ink's not going to print there and this is the black but he still wants me to print that white inside which does not make any sense armando i'm sorry but we're still gonna add it and yes we talked about it you're gonna get charged for it and i think it's still gonna look the same at the end but you want it done so you're getting it done so if you guys don't remember um what i talked about a while back about putting away your film this is the way I've been doing it since I talked about it and right now we need to find Forgotten World so we can file his new art and not have it laying around for the ones that come around quite often 
we like to keep it filed and we like to not spend a lot of time looking for the art. So we have it named, we have it filed, and it's easy to access. So I suggest that you guys start doing this if you're having a hard time finding your film because I know that's a waste of time. And also, uh, if you have it in this folder, it protects it from dust debris and from water damage. So just remember to fire your stuff like this. Super simple, very easy to do. I think a box of like 20 is only like $11, so that's kind of cheap. And uh, we're almost ready to start setting up. Yes, yes. All right, so we got the three screens up here. We're gonna set up with the black. Then we're gonna drop the red on top and finish with the white. So I have a three color left chest that I'm gonna show you guys how to set up. And also I'm gonna show you guys how to set up the left chest on your boards so that whenever you're placing the t-shirt on there, it falls in the correct spot. I've had a couple of questions in the past about this. I know it's a very common issue whenever you're a beginner at screen printing. It's very hard to locate that position for the left chest. So I'm gonna show you guys a super simple way to do it. I'm gonna make some markings on the board uh, just so when you start, you can go ahead and do the same thing. Or if you can just remember and watch this video or whatever. All right, let me show you how I'm setting up this three color design. Obviously we're gonna start with one and I'm gonna choose the black one. Now we have a circle here, so <clears throat> this is how I figure out where to lock in my screen for a left chest every single time. So we know that seven and a half is the center of my board. Now I usually go about three fingers. <clears throat> so we're going to scoot this over just a little bit more. And we know that that line is going to close up with the red once, once um, all the colors come together. So we go about three fingers from the center. A little bit more and that should give us the left chest location <clears throat> so that when we print our print is going to be right down the chest my glasses go <clears throat> okay so when we print every single time that print is going to come down where this line right here that's on your shoulder meets the collar and you bring your fingers straight down and that should be the center of your design so no matter how small or how wide your design is. It should always come down this line where the stitching on your shoulder, I don't know if you can see it or not, but the stitching on your shoulder, it's gonna meet the collar and right where it meets, you just bring down a straight line and that it's always gonna meet in your chest. So for regular t-shirts, uh, crew necks, that's how you center your logo. So let's say it was like the Apple logo that's a quarter of an inch you drop it right there on your chest. If you want something big or, or a regular size like the one we're doing, then you figure out the center of your design and then you go from there and then you're gonna get it there every single time. So if you don't know how to figure that out, usually it's about three fingers away from the center like I just did it. You know, you have your logo right here, you have the center of your logo, which you always should have with the registration mark. So seven and a half, And that should be about centered. So we're good on there. All right, so now that we know how to set up the left chest location on our boards, I'm gonna go ahead and lock it in. As you guys should know, give it a nice firm grip with this bar right in the back. We're gonna tape up the screen, set up the rest of the colors, and I'm gonna show you guys how this looks once it comes together with the red and the white for the white shirts. So we've done a, a bunch of setups already with the tape and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and skip all of that. I wanted to share the left chest location because I just know that there's a struggle for it out there. And I really hope that this was helpful. So just remember, just go about three fingers from the center and you should have your design starting right up the edge of your three fingers. So that has always helped me and I think that it's going to help you as well. 
I forgot my hat. We got the left chest in, we got the back printed, and we got the man himself. Go ahead, show him a little flex. <laughs> and um, the reason why he doesn't have his shirt on is because we're printing the back print on the front. Go ahead and throw it on. It's probably super hot anyway. All right, that's it for today. We showed you guys how to set up a three color left chest. Well, actually it ended up being two because... Oh. It burned. I know it's hot, sorry. He decided to not go with the white after all, so we didn't print it. So it ended up being a two color left chest and a two color back. We show you guys how to locate the left chest position on the shirts and how to set it up on your pallets. Armando, thank you. Let's go get some pho and call it a day. Follow. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Ready. <laughs>